Hello, everybody. So it's been a while. About a year ago, I uploaded a how to get better FPS on Roblox video, and it did pretty well to say the least. I figured since it's been about a year since I uploaded that video and it's becoming pretty outdated, I would go ahead and make a new one. In this video, I'm going to waste no time and tell you how to get more FPS in Roblox. And with that being said, I'm basically speedrunning this so I don't waste your time. The first step to getting more FPS from Roblox is downloading Blockstrap. To download Blockstrap, go to the description, scroll down, and there will be a link to download it. And once you guys have installed it, you're going to want to open it. Once you have it open, you're going to see all these options that let you customize literally everything about your Roblox. From Discord tracking integration, allowing you to have multiple Roblox instances opened at once. You can even use the old Roblox death sound. You can customize your mouse cursor, use old avatar editor background. You can even apply a custom font. But the ones we're here for are the ones that make your game run better. So go into mods and disable full screen optimizations. Go to fast flags and then there's a frame rate limit. You can really set it to about as high as you want, but I recommend setting it to whatever your monitor's refresh rate is. You can also choose the preferred lighting technology and the one for the best FPS will be voxel, but it's better off to have it on chosen by game. You can choose which escape menu you want. There's also an option that gives you more graphics bars so you can have your graphics setting as precise as you want it. Then yeah, that's basically it for block trap. Once it's installed, Installed, you'll realize it's installed by seeing this pop up whenever you open your Roblox game. All right, so now that I'm inside of Roblox, I'm going to check my FPS. I have my cap set on 240 and I'm getting 240 FPS. Now, Blockstrap is definitely the easiest and best method for getting more FPS in Roblox, but now it's time to move on to some PC optimizations. All right, the first optimization I'm going to be showing you guys is Windows game mode. So go into your search bar, type in game mode. Click game mode settings and make sure game mode is turned off. Then go to graphic settings over here. Click browse. Go to windows. Go to your program files 86. Find Roblox. Go to versions. In the folder that has Roblox player installer, double click it. Once you have it added here, click options and then put it to high performance. All right, so here's another tip to optimize windows for better performance. Go into your search bar, type view advanced system settings. After you have that open, go to advanced, go to performance and click settings. If you click settings, press adjust for best performance, and then it'll disable basically all of this to give you the best performance you can get on your computer. All right, so this next tip basically just puts your PC in high performance mode. Go into your search bar and type power. Once you're on this screen, go to additional power settings. And then once you're here, set it to high performance. This next performance option is just disabling Xbox Game Bar. Go into your search bar and type enable Xbox Game Bar. Once you're on this screen, make sure this is turned off. Then once you have it turned off, it will improve your performance. All right, this next thing to help you get more FPS is disabling notifications. Type notifications in your taskbar and then click notifications and actions settings. Once you open that, you should be prompted with something like this and just disable notifications right here. All right, this next tip basically is just checking to see if your drivers are up to date. Since I have an NVIDIA graphics card, I have to use GeForce Experience. I'm in the GeForce Experience app and I'm going to click drivers. It turns out my drivers are not up to date, just like they weren't in the last FPS video. I'm going to download that after this video is over. Keeping up with your drivers, making sure they're up to date is a good way to make sure that your drivers and all your hardware is running at its best performance possible. All right, so for this next tip, we're going to be turning off startup apps that take up a lot of performance whenever you first turn on your computer. You're going to want to type startup apps into your Windows search bar and then open it. Once you have it open, you're going to want to disable every single app that you don't want running whenever you first open your computer. A lot of these apps can take major performance on your PC, and they're even labeled with how much performance they take up. All right, this next thing is basically just an optimization pack that I made that disables a lot of the things that make your PC run slow. So first in Windows optimizations, we have disable game DVR1, disable game DVR2, disable unnecessary apps from auto startup, disable Windows, game recording broadcasting, and turn off Xbox Game Bar. These are basically just automatic ways to turn everything off that I showed you how to manually do earlier in the video. So if you don't want to download anything, you can go manually do it like I showed, but this will just make it a whole lot faster. And then if you also want to revert everything, you can just run these and it reverts it back to how it was. And then we have power options. You delete your other power plans to get rid of like all the power saving ones, and then you import the good one. And then once you open power plans, you will have ultimate performance. I have a few because I ran it a few times, so it imported a couple of them, but yeah. And file cleanup this will delete your temporary files basically just files that are taking up random space on your pc and then delete update cache is just all the cache it creates whenever you update windows 
Number four is RAM optimizations. This basically just optimizes your RAM. Select the RAM amount. I have 32 gigs. I'll run that. Alrighty, and done. And then if I want to reset it to the default, there's reset the default right here. And yeah, it'll reset everything. And then finally, block strap is also downloaded in here. So once you run it, it'll open something like this. And then yeah, you can just do everything that I showed you earlier and set it up. All right, this next tip is basically just putting your game in high performance mode. So open task manager once you have your game open. Once you have task manager open, go to details. Scroll down until you find robot. Roblox. Once you find Roblox player beta, right click it, go to set priority and set it to high. And then right click it again, go to set affinity and turn off CPU zero. Now your game's in high performance mode and you should have more FPS than you normally do. All right, so this next setting is for NVIDIA users. You're gonna want to right click on your desktop and open NVIDIA control panel. Once you open NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings and copy the settings I have. Alrighty, that is going to conclude the end of this video. If you guys need any help, leave a comment down below. I will respond as soon as possible. Also, join my Discord. The link is in the description. You can also DM me on Discord for any help you need. Yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.